Hi, hi, everybody. How are we doing? As you can see, I'm not in my office. It's too bloody cold to go up there today. You'll have to put up with the lighting conditions because it's actually snowing outside. It wasn't meant to be, but it is. So I've had to keep the blinds closed as it's glaring on the camera. Um, but anyway, what have I been up to? Well, I'll tell you what I've been up to. I've only went and plotted the next book. Oh my god, you haven't! Oh yes, I have, and I'll tell you about it. I've actually sat and plotted out the sequel to Malevolence. Oh my god! And it's currently called Emergence um, for several reasons, which will become apparent in the book if you ever read it. Um, but I found this new program called Mind Maple, and I've been using it to brainstorm. And pretty much, I've got most of the book all plotted out. There are a couple of things I still need to work on. Um, there's some recurring characters, there's some new characters, there's a whole new aspect to being adept is going to come through on it. Um, a continuation of the world. Oh, that I created the malevolence. I, I always knew it was not going to be just one book. I always knew there was more to it than just that one book. Um, I always enjoyed the the, the world uh, that I created, and you know the, the, the different aspects of being an adept, and you know having these powers that nobody else has, uh, and how they completely fuck up your life. I mean, yet you can still live with them. And yeah, I could actually write about it forever, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to write so much about it that it becomes, you know, the, the original message and it becomes diluted and it goes the way of so many, you know, like programs and things like that and it just dies a sad, sad, lonely death. Um, so for now, I am going to continue writing it and I will stop when I feel it's time to stop, <laughs> which isn't just now. So Emergence is about to be written and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, what else I've been doing? I have been continuing the Love Life series. Like I say, I have been offline for a couple of weeks and I haven't been able to put as much time into stuff that I've wanted to. But I have managed to do another drawing or two for the Love Life series. Um, I have had to put the animation to the side though because it just takes way too much time and work and energy uh, and I just don't have it just now. So I will work on it. It's just going to take a lot longer than I originally anticipated. Um, but I've also been looking into... Um, getting my own site, my own website. I'd looked into paid domains and things like that. They all sounded so great until you find the hidden costs. Um, they're way too expensive. So um, I don't want to, you know, put money into something that I might not need in a couple of weeks time. So I don't know about that yet. I just don't want to keep putting my stuff up here for like my art and animal campaigns and things like that and bore you all when all you are here for, for it is writing. So I don't know. It's something I'm thinking about anyway. Um, as for Malevolence, Malevolence is doing not bad. Uh, the sales aren't as good as I thought they would be. Uh, but I think that's purely down to self-promoting it uh, because I'm such an awful promoter. It's really not my forte whatsoever. And when we're not being online for the last couple of weeks, it, it's actually telling. You can tell, you know, that it's not being seen, that malevolence hasn't been seen the way it should be or the way at least I anticipated it to be. Um, I'm going to have to look at the tags and the categories and how I'm promoting it and try and get it out there to be seen. I think maybe people are reading the synopsis and, you know, they're getting the impression that it's just another, oh, people with superpowers, oh, great, oh, I've never read that before type thing. Whereas it's not, it's more the psychological aspect of it. It's very much so the psychological aspect of it. Um, and, and I think that perhaps the way that I'm promoting it is, is, is putting it across as just another sci-fi book instead of the whole, you know, the whole more human and psychological part of it that, that, that is the whole reason for the book, to be honest. I never wrote it for the actual science fiction type part of it. It was all, you know, um, kind of exploring the human condition and what something like these powers might do to a person. And I don't think that's what people are seeing when they read it, when they read the synopsis and things like that. That said, the people who have read it are giving great feedback on it. They really enjoyed it. Uh, many of them are looking for a sequel, which I'm happy to say is on its way. <laughs> It won't be anytime soon, but it is actually in the works for being written, and that's great. Um, but yeah, the feedback I'm getting is really positive. Um, the, it's, it's just, you know, like getting people to sit and write a review or, or discuss it with other people. It's just not out there. It's not being seen. Um, and... I'm currently clueless as to what to do about that. You know, there's all these sites that you can you can pay them to promote your book, um, and 
I don't know if a lot of the people who, you know, like they take part in those sites or that are just other authors looking for sales rather than readers looking for a good read. So I'm kind of wary about going down that route. Um, but like I say, it's, it's selling okay, it's selling steady, just not as much as I thought it would. Um, but I do want to continue the world that, you know, that I created. I do want to continue writing it, but I don't want to put an awful lot of energy into it if it's never ever going to be seen. Um, but at the same time, a story that's in your mind really should be put down. Therefore, I will continue to write it until I'm bored with it, which I don't think is ever going to happen because this is already several years in the making as it is. Um, but yeah, I need to look at self-promoting. Uh, I need to continue with developing the emergence and see what happens with it. Um, if you guys could link stuff out, it would be amazing. It would be truly appreciated if, if you linked out all the stuff from Malevolence to your friends, just put it anywhere you want, just fire the links out, tell people about it. That would be fabulous. Um, but yeah, that, that's about where I stand just now. <laughs> I bet you didn't think I'd be coming on and telling you as I was writing another book. But there you go, that's it. And it's Friday night. I have company coming down in a couple of hours. So I'm going to go and maybe buy a bottle of wine. We never know. It's Friday night. We shall see. But anyway, you guys have a great weekend. Maybe next time I'm on, I'll have a couple of chapters written. Maybe. We shall see. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Hi, hi, everybody. How are we doing now? So, oh, fuck it. Plotting out a... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm going to start again. This is shocking. Oh, I'm using... A, oh, God, I can't even remember what I said. It's actually snowing. Actually, actually snowing. It's a bit... Bit crap. And I'm going to start again because that's a shit plot to the next fucking head. In there, there's plots c happily coming along and I'm fucking this video up and I know I am and I'm probably just going to go with the one that I recorded earlier. Fuck it. Bye!